In today's video, is a ketogenic diet a good solution for fat loss for you? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're going to discuss the specifics of a ketogenic diet and that approach to losing body fat and maintaining muscle, building muscle, using it as a method of, let's say, body composition goals. So I've been friends with Dr. Dominic Diagostino for over a decade now, seen him present on this topic. I've actually been to the keto conference. I consider myself pretty well versed in ketogenic dieting. And so now that it's become super trendy, I'm seeing some problems in how people are using a keto diet to approach their goals. So I've actually gotten quite a few messages recently about people using this keto approach and they've had questions for me. So I'm gonna post two of the questions here. Now these questions came from my Instagram direct message. So if you have a question that you would like to uh, have me answer, send me an uh, Instagram direct message. Here's my Instagram on the screen. I'll also post the questions up here while we're talking. I might actually do a voiceover for these questions because they're rather long, so I don't expect you to read them. So I'll probably just do a voiceover here so you can hear the questions and see where this video is going. My current goal is to burn fat, but maintain my muscle mass. And I've been on and off a keto diet for a little while now. And I feel like I'm growing a bad relationship with carbohydrates. My question is, do you need carbs incorporated in a diet to burn fat? Hey, Paul, hope you can answer my question. I am 18 years old, did some bulking for two months, and it really works. Gain eight kilograms, I'm five foot eight tall, and got to 70 kilograms, but the bad part about my bulking diet was that I gained body fat. I've always got that ugly fat in my lower abs. Not too much, but it's annoying. My four abs in the upper are visible, and that's good. So I start the keto diet. In my fourth week, I decided to do a refeed in carbs, Saturday and Sunday but I eat like a beast, like way too much pizza, pie, cakes, all the bad stuff. Did I ruin my diet? Am I going to gain body fat for those two huge days of junk food? For those that are wondering where I come from, I coach physique competitors, people that are interested in losing body fat, building muscle. I'm basically like a transformation coach mostly, but my specialty is competitors, people that want to get on a physique stage. So that's definitely where I come from. I do not use a ketogenic diet at any time for my clients specifically. Now, have I ever coached someone using a ketogenic diet? Yes. It is just not my primary use. It is not my first goal. It's because it's a complete lifestyle change. You can't go in and out of a ketogenic diet. It's not a low carb diet. It's a lifestyle, okay? And there's a big difference between being in ketosis and being keto adapted. Being keto adapted means your body is actually going to start to feel normal again from all the processes that are going on, okay? That process, as stated by Dr. Dominic Diagostino, takes three to six months. That's right, you need to be eating 70 to 75% of your diet as fats and as little as 5% of your diet as carbs to get keto adapted. Now, once you've been keto adapted, you can potentially have some higher protein approaches, Dom takes a little bit of a different approach with his diet, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Like I said, you can look up Dom. I'll probably put some links to some of his stuff in here. But my point is, is that if you can't see yourself not eating things like pizza and donuts and enjoying carbohydrates for months, well, then you're not going to reap the benefits of being keto adapted. What are the benefits of being keto adapted? Well, everyone loves to say that you burn a ton of fat when you're in ketosis and when you're keto adapted. Well, that's true. But don't forget, you're also eating a ton of fat. So you're storing fat really quickly as well. It still requires a caloric deficit. There's no magic approach to a ketogenic diet that just says, hey, my body is constantly burning fat. That's great, but it's still about the energy balance. If you overconsume fat in a ketogenic diet, you will put on body fat. In fact, body fat from eating a lot of fat is stored rather quickly, okay? So I, as a coach who is concerned with performance, prefer not to look at it like this. You can still 
lose body fat eating carbs. In fact, you can eat a lot of carbs. I was dieting and keeping my carbs between 200 and 500 grams per day, depending on the phase and what day of the week it was, okay? Why was I able to lose body fat? Well, because I created a caloric deficit through exercise, cardio, and my diet. What are the benefits that I felt for carbs? And I don't wanna go on a carbohydrate diatribe here, okay? This is just why I'm using carbohydrates. It's because I'm a performance athlete. I'm in their gym to lift and weight and build muscle and perform. And in my experience and what I've seen, there is a serious degradation in performance when you're going through this keto adaptation phase, okay? Your body is not able to store carbohydrates in the muscle to use for fuel because it's completely depleted and you're no longer consuming them. So this is where I find the most issue <clears throat> with people converting to ketosis. Now, both the questions I got, one was about a gentleman who said he put on some body fat, used a keto diet, and after about four weeks, he went out and had cakes and pies and did all these things and he was worried that he was gonna put on body fat. Well, absolutely, if you're overeating calories, you're gonna put on body fat. The ketogenic diet is not a magic diet. It's fantastic for certain situations, but you can still put on body fat. Also, if you were in ketosis and if you were in the midst of getting keto adapted, remember I said it takes three to six months, well, this gentleman, after four weeks, was still in the early phases of getting keto adapted. He might have been in ketosis, but all these processes that are going on in his body have not fully adapted. So by having this cheat weekend, what has he done? Well, he's probably likely reverted his body back to burning glucose as its primary fuel. No longer are ketones the primary fuel source. He's going to have to get adapted again. He's going to have to get in ketosis again. That can take you know up to 24 hours if you fast, or it can take several days if you just lower your carbohydrate intake and go back to your 70 to 75% of your intake as fats, okay? So I don't think this is a great approach for you. If you can only last four weeks before you have a pizza and pie and donut bender, well remember, this is a lifestyle. So I would suggest instead of using a ketogenic diet to get the fat off, you simply learn to track your macronutrients, create a caloric deficit, use carbohydrates wisely, include the foods that you enjoy instead of excluding entire macronutrient groups, okay? That would be my suggestion. The second person asked me about a refeed. He actually said, do you need carbohydrates in your diet to burn fat? Well, in fact, carbohydrates are an important part of lipolysis. Interestingly, fatty acid breakdown depends in part on a continual background level of carbohydrate breakdown. Recall that acetyl-CoA enters the citric acid cycle by combining the oxyolacetate to form citrate. Depleting carbohydrate decreases pyruvate production during glycolysis. But that does not mean you have to have them. Of course, if you're in ketosis, your body is going to be using those ketone bodies as fuel. You're going to be burning through body fat, but you still need to be in a caloric deficit. This person says he's starting to have a bad relationship with carbohydrates. I assume that means he wants to eat them. If you want to eat carbohydrates, don't do a ketogenic diet. For those that are interested in a ketogenic diet and you're worried about carbohydrate cravings, I have talked to Dom and he has told me that his food cravings are much different now. Hunger is much different now. The benefits that he feels, and I've had him on my podcast, I've done videos with him, the benefits that he feels are with his busy schedule and his research and his hours and hours in the lab, he doesn't have to stop to eat all day. Hunger signaling changes. So he doesn't have the cravings for the carbohydrates, but Dom has been doing keto for years. In fact, he's done things like seven day fasts and he is keto adapted. He can actually play with his numbers a little bit and still stay in ketosis. This is not something that everybody can do. You have to get adapted. That can take up to six to eight months for some people. So if you're having a problem early on, you might find that this is not the best approach for you. Hopefully this answers your question, guys. I'd love to get into more detail in a ketogenic diet. Again, um, I do feel like there is a big misrepresentation going on in like popular culture and popular media for what a ketogenic diet is, okay, and how to approach it and what it takes. It's not something you just cruise into and cruise out of, okay? It's a serious lifestyle change, and that's not for everybody. I am a big fan of it if it's for you. The people that are keto adapted and love keto, love it. So if it's something that sounds like it might work great for you, well, good for you, give it a shot. Let me know your thoughts, questions below. Please hit the subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.